Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Wednesday the 18th of December 2013 and it is just under a week away until what is left of Comet Ison will be passing its closest point to the Earth on the 26th of December 2013. Now we've seen a number of videos from BP Earthwatch and others in this video I want to concentrate on some of the statements that BP Earthwatch has made in the recent days, weeks and months and uh, I'll be calling him to account uh, in, the, in the weeks and uh, time ahead of us through until mid-January. BP Earthwatch has made a number of statements and predictions of what he uh, considers is going to happen. Of course I'm calling BS on all of his claims. We've seen this uh, before and BP Earthwatch of course used to be known as Mr. Comet Watch and he made all of these same sorts of claims regarding Comet Allen and before back in 2011. I've put together a compilation of some of uh, BP Earthwatch's uh, comments and predictions from his recent videos and we're going to have a listen to some of those now. These are clips from BP Earthwatch's recent videos. As you can see I've got them here. Uh, Ison's incoming debris hitting the sun. Ison's debris trail. Ison update large debris moving fast. Ison could be a planet buster and amazing new images of the Ison meteor storm. So I've taken some sound bites from those video clips. Please don't be alarmed by these video clips. I don't believe that there's any truth in these. As I say, we've heard these claims before from Mr. Comet Watch, who now calls himself uh, BP Earthwatch, and as before, his claims uh, completely failed. But let's hear some of these clips. If they're talking about it being that much brighter, there's no way it's five kilometers. This thing could be giant. It could be a planet changer. We're going to update this, guys, but something's wrong in the calculations. We're some and somehow someone is going in there and manipulating these numbers you can see it day to day to the advantage of keeping it on the down low I son is going to be big this in the green image is what's inside it some of these rocks are miles and miles wide guys we have the same large objects that are going to be coming over the earth if someone's telling you it's fading into a small dust uh, event you don't have to worry about be very suspicious also he said they are changing the techn the terminology from meteorite shower to meteorite storm imagine the ones that are 50 meters or a quarter mile that can do what the Behringer crater the uh, comet did to the Behringer crater there guys but guys we have a large debris field that we're going through and the uh, International Space Station had better, they, guys, I don't know if you guys on the space station can hear what I'm saying. If they let you watch YouTube videos, they probably don't. I don't know what they're showing you, but you better not be there when we go through this debris field. And we're dealing with cyanide. That's one of the chemicals that causes these comets to glow green. So, now you'd say, well, will that burn up? coming into the atmosphere well they said it's not going to do that remember it's coming in slow but it has uh, some of these chemicals don't burn up to nearly 5,000 degrees anyway the interstellar dust surrounding earth it contains prions remember the call in from Paul Begley's show yesterday that's one of the things called mad cow disease now can these metals attach themselves to the space dust and drift down so we got comet dust space dust to, and both contain heavy metals cyanogen gas they used it in the gas chambers they used it in poison they used it in insecticides Hitler used it in the death camps but guys I want to talk about the Denver airport some symbology here in the top you've got some people call it space uh, alien it looks like maybe a Russian or, or something like that notice this gas mass notice coming through the air is like a comet. It is the it's showing the swing of the sword that kills the dove. Now, in also in the airport, 
it looks like a sword striking the stone that's saying the New World Airport. But it, that's what some people say. I say it's the comet tail striking. And it strikes right in the middle of seven marks, right at three and a half. Are you listening? In other words, the Earth is going to go through what they're symbolizing here very well could be the Earth going through this debris trail of this comet. So there is the latest doom and gloom from VP Earthwatch, and we've heard it all before as Mr. Comet Watch and Comet Allenin in 2011. I will be calling Mr. BP Earthwatch to account for his videos and his statements and all the fear that he has been causing his viewers and Comet Ison or what remains of it will be passing over the Earth at its closest point on the 26th of December and then around about the 12th of January the Earth's orbit will be passing over the incoming trajectory of uh, Comet Ison. Uh, which is when BP Earthwatch is claiming that uh, we'll be going through its debris field with these huge rocks and cyanogen gas and prions and who knows what. So BP Earthwatch, watch this space. We will be calling you to account um, after the 26th of December and uh, also after the 12th through, you gave seven days, so after the 19th of January. We'll be calling on you to explain what went wrong with your predictions, why the Earth wasn't pelted with huge meteors from Comet Ison, why we weren't all poisoned with cyanogen gas or went mad with mad cow disease. So we can look forward to your explanation. No doubt we can look forward to more Doom videos from you because uh, you know you, um, you've done this before and I'm sure that you will do it again. Now here are my predictions for the 26th of December and for the 12th of January and the days leading up to and following those dates. We will not be going through a huge debris field from Comet Ison. We will not be pelted by meteors. Uh, yes, there will be meteors that will be seen and there may even be some fireballs because there always are. But we will not be getting pelted by huge meteors as described by BP Earthwatch. You have to remember that every year at regular times we see meteor showers and this is simply the Earth going through the trajectory of uh, past comets. There are more than 50 regular meteor showers. You can Google those and look them up. We've just had the Geminids and as we pass through the Geminid meteor shower did, were we pummeled with huge meteors? No we weren't and we're not going to be pummeled by huge meteors from Comet Ison either. We're not going to be poisoned by cyanogen gas. The same claims were made back in 1910 when Halley's Comet passed by and the Earth actually passed through the end of the tail of Halley's Comet on the 19th of May 1910. The doomsayers of the day were making the same predictions that we were all going to be poisoned with cyanide gas and the scammers were making good money selling comet pills and comet umbrellas and the likes and they were laughing all the way to the bank. We're not going to go mad with uh, mad cow disease because prions in the atmosphere. Um, in fact, I doubt that we're even going to see a meteor shower. As I said, yes, we will see a few shooting stars and we may even see the odd fireball, but that won't be related to Comet Ison at all. That's just uh, business as usual. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.